Hi everybody, Tom Oates from the State Journal and Madison.com here. Uh, you got to hand it to Mike McCarthy. Uh, he just doesn't sit on his hands. Uh, this week, McCarthy announced sweeping changes on his staff uh, and some of the duties of those staffs. Uh, you know, it, it looked a little bit surprising given how good the Packers were this year. But in hindsight, it's really not all that surprising. McCarthy's shown that kind of flexibility in the past. Uh, he might not make those make changes as quickly as all the armchair quarterbacks make want him to make them, but eventually he makes them and he gets them done. Uh, often, uh, well, they're always very decisive, and often they uh, usually become, turn into something very positive. So uh, when his postseason evaluation dictates the changes are made, McCarthy acts. Look, look at his history. Uh, after the 2007 season, when Brett Favre. Uh, Looked like a quarterback who didn't want to play in cold weather anymore. He made a change at quarterback. Uh, the following season, the Packers defense completely collapsed under Bob Sanders. He made a change. He replaced most of the defensive staff, including coordinator, bringing in coordinator Dom Capers. And most of that, the guts of that staff remain, uh, remain running the Packers defense. Uh, after 2011, when the defense fell to last, uh, due mostly to injuries and personnel, fell the last in the league. Packers' first six draft picks were on defense that year. The following year, McCarthy knew he needed to round out his offense with a running game. They picked Eddie Lacy. Boom. Oh, voila. They have a running game the last two seasons. So it's pretty clear that McCarthy's not a guy who sits on his hands, that he is flexible. Uh, this year, uh, new special teams coach, uh, badly needed to bring energy and focus to the special teams. Uh, he overhauled the offensive staff, even though, get this, the offense was first overall in the league in scoring. Uh, the biggest move is his play calling. Uh, he, he's given that up to Tom Clements in the offensive restructure, and he's going to devote more time to the other areas of the team. So uh, kudos to McCarthy. He could have made few, if any, changes given where the Packers are, which is knocking on the door of the Super Bowl. They beat the champion Patriots. They should have beat the runner-up Seahawks. So they're a very good team, but he still made changes, and that's commendable.